Have I got a story for you guys. So I was out here at Spawn. After I built my pick, That's this is where I signed out. So yesterday I feel like, you know, I want to play some Minecraft, but I don't want to record. So I'll just log on, find the nearest cave, and, uh, and do some caving. And that's what I did. I did some caving. I had about three and a half stacks of iron. A little bit of, well, how much gold did I have? I pro had probably maybe 16 gold. And uh, no diamonds. A little bit of redstone, a bunch of coal, because I'd been collecting coal like crazy for the XP. And then, um, you know, I got down to about two hearts, and I thought, okay, I should really surface now, because if I die, I'm going to lose all this stuff. I have no idea where I am. There's no way I can come back here and get my stuff if I, if I die. So, what happens? I died. I had two hearts. I went down into a cave, whether it was redstone level, and uh, I'm like, ooh, maybe I can find some diamonds here. I went down there. And then all of a sudden, I'm surrounded by, like, all the mobs. A creeper blew up. Uh, spiders came from everywhere. Zombies had been following me for a while. And eventually, I got shot by a skeleton and died. Etho was in the area. So I'm like, hey, Etho. Oh, hey. Hey, there. I'm like, hey, Etho, what's your coords? Because you were right above me when I was caving. And he, uh, and he saw that I died. And he's like, he gave me the coords and he logged out. Because he didn't want my stuff to despawn. So I get the coords. <laughs> I go back. And I find the spot. But I guess it took me longer than five minutes. Because everything had despawned. My diamond sword. Gone. My unbreaking efficiency pick. Gone. My used silk touch pick. Gone. All the things that I treasure in life. <laughs> are now gone. So we're starting over. Well, not really. So... Yeah, I'm back here now, and somebody wrote this sign. Minus 314, 135, 770. And it looks like it was Anders. Hello, Beef My by Anders L. So he signed it. He signed it, which is good. He didn't edit anything. So I'm guessing he has the pick. I don't know. I got to go get my... I only have one Silk Touch left now. But I'm still going to trade it because I need I need fortune way more than I need to silk touch at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and grab the pick. And th this nether looks horrible. Obsidian's... Oh, oh yeah, Anders. Or Anders. Adelington's Obsidian Farm. That works nicely. Anyway, I'm going to go grab the pick. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go to those cords. And hopefully there will be a nice fortune 3 pick waiting for me. And hopefully it's... A diamond fortune 3 pick because I did not specify. <laughs> that would suck. Anyway, I will be right back. Alright, I got all re-geared up, all with the iron stuff because, oh man, my this is the old armor I had too. I had to put this on real quick before I headed back to the spot because I didn't want to, I didn't want to die again. Turns out it didn't matter. I took too long finding it. Um, I guess, okay, let's go over to the pick. And let's check out these cohorts a little closer. Did I see it was like 130 height level? Yeah. So it's at minus one, minus 314, 135 is the height. Plus 770. All right, so which way are we going here? So the X is that way. So it's this way, minus 314. And that way. So we're headed in this direction. Okay, I think I got it. Well, I don't got it, but it's minus 314, 135, 770. Plus 770. Let's oh man. Traveling in the nighttime. This is probably not a good idea. I'm wondering if this is gonna be some sort of trap or something. Why is it up in the middle of the sky? Ooh, pack rat stuff. Aqua affinity, nice. Oh, thorns, that's sweet. Uh, so we're going this way, right? Minus 314. Who's... Oh, crap. I got arrows this time, sucker. A whole 16 of them. Minus... Oh, no, 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 no. Not you. Not you. Not you. Dang it, man. 
Another one. Okay, this is not going to be an easy trip. I probably should have waited till day. Oh, look at Hander's horsey. I love the horsey. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm being attacked. What attacked me? Whoa, what? What the heck is attacking me? Was that an invisible spider? It is an invisible spider. Holy crap. Oh, no, little baby. Life is not going great for me right now. What the hell, man? I didn't know they could spawn with invisibility. Look at all these zombies. My sword is almost dead. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm going to go get, get some regen. <laughs> Let's kill this guy at least. At least I'm getting some levels. The reason I don't use... Oh, no. Not a... Does that guy have thorns, maybe? Is that why I got hurt? Um, the reason why I don't use spawners, because I don't think... I don't think spawners are in the spirit of the game. You know? Not not spawners. What am I saying? Um, XP farms. I don't think that that was the point. <laughs> when uh, when Notch and Jeb set out to make this game... Well, Notch mainly. And then Dinnerbone took over. I don't think the point was to make XP grinders. I think it was just to experience the game naturally. So I like to gain 30 levels or close to it um, by just working my way through the game. I think it's a lot more fun that way. It makes it a lot more rewarding too when you when you gain 30 levels and uh, and then you get like an enchant you really want. Like Fortune 3. Hey guy, welcome. Welcome to hell. You just came from hell. This is the real hell with these new zombies, man. Anyway, uh, I guess I will... It's almost day. I'm going to wait until day before I head out. And then I'll check back with you guys once I'm in the area, I guess. It seems to be following the path here. So, Anders probably has it... Or has this trap in store for me. <laughs> at one of his bases. Because he's got... He's got his highway here, the dirt highway. <laughs> this highway, man, is the worst to maintain. So where are we... Oh, we're at... It's plus 770, so we're pretty much... We've got to go this way. Yep, I'm going to follow this path. I bet this path takes me right to it. Still going. We're close to 770. The minus is 314. So we're at minus 200 now. Okay, path ends here. Path totally ends here. All right, so what does it say? JL was here. <laughs> oh, there we go. I bet that's where it is. Oh, man, this better not be a trap. Anders, please. Please, Anders, I've had a rough Minecraft day. Yesterday. Just don't kill me, man. I have the pick on me. I hope yours is a diamond pick. I really do. If it's not a diamond pick, I might cry. Oh, boy. This is nice. This is comfy. It's cozy. He's got he's got an island in the sky going, huh? This man builds more bases. Man, he gets to work quick. He he starts on something, he finishes it, and he moves on to the next thing. That's the way I like him. Fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. Um Right, so, oh, oh, what's this? Welcome to Mount Anderzel, home of the Viking, and a Fortune 3 pick just for PAL. I don't forget how you helped me with your, when I was new. Oh, with yours, oh, that's right, when I had, um, oh, what a great guy. I had a Fortune pick, and he gives me insta-health potions and carrots. Anders, my friend, you're amazing. Look at this guy. This is the guy right here. Boom. I left you your silk touch pick, buddy. Just for you. If you're watching this video, I'll even pick up this dirt block for you. Bam! Look at that. I'm cleaning up the place. Silk touch for you. Thank you so much, Anders. You're awesome. Now I can go mine some quartz <laughs> and uh, and actually do something. This is kind of a nice view he's got here, man. Hey, wait. Is that is that a new island or part of our island? Oh, I think it's part of it. I bet there's some nice caves in there. No, focus. No more caving. Last time you caved, terrible things happened. 
All right, let's do this. Whoa, yeah, baby. Amazing. Thanks, Anders. Really. <laughs> that really helps me out. Uh, I got to get back to my base now. You know, I might actually have to go collect some quartz. So, you may or may not see me back on my base. Either way, I can move on now. I got a Fortune 3 pick. I've also got an Unbreaking pick that I think I can add to this Fortune 3, which will help it a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It's just Fortune 3, too. has no additional enchants, just like I asked. <laughs> well, I, I didn't ask for it. I specified I didn't have to have any additional enchants. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. First things first, since I got... What I was looking for, this sign can now be taken down as promised in the book. I don't want it to intrude on anybody's builds or anything like that, so I'm taking it down. So I'm totally going to make some fire resistance potions before I head into the nether. I've decided I have to go into the nether first to get some quartz. Uh, but you guys don't have to see that. I will, uh, I will skip right along. Unless something interesting happens, then I will show you. I have not made a fire resistance potion in the longest time, so I'm hoping that I am correct. Also, I'm going to try and combine these. Now, how much is this going to cost me? 27 levels. Hmm, is it worth it? It is worth it. It is totally worth it. You know what? I have to rename this thing in honor of Anders. Wow, 20 levels to rename something? Holy crap, I didn't know it was that pricey. I will rename it <laughs> in honor of Anders. Not right now, I won't. What else? We got projectile, projectile, protection one. I think these fire resistance potions are the way to go. Now, I hope this is it. I hope this is it. And then glowstone should extend it, right? Isn't that how it works? I hope. Hope I didn't just waste... Well, I guess it's only one magma cream. Not a big deal. Come on, dude. Need some fire resistance. Yeah! Three minutes? Okay, if I add glowstone. Ooh, nothing. Hmm, nothing. What about redstone? I know gunpowder turns into a, turns it into a splash potion. So let's add some redstone and see what happens. Okay, redstone's going. That's good. Uh, harvest this while I wait. Do -do 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 -do. Doing some farming with beef. Farming all the things. Come on, fire resistance two. Please. Eight minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take one of these and then just go hunting for quartz. I am ready. I am ready for quartz hunting. And just like that, I'm at 30 levels. This fortune pick. Oh, that's my phone. Pay, pay no attention to the phone. This fortune pick is a lifesaver. Look how much quartz I got. That's like, that's so much quartz. <laughs> oh my god, look how much quartz I got. That's so much quartz. Um, but yeah, 30 levels. We're gonna enchant a sword because we lost our previous one. Oh, speaking of which, I can now break up my uh, diamond blocks that I have. I think I only have like two of them. Right? I think I only have like two of them, but, but we can break them up and hopefully get more than two diamonds. Uh, where is it? I keep forgetting. Three of them. Okay. Oh, let's not break them up yet. First, enchant a sword. Do we have a stick anywhere? We don't. We must make one. So, the last sword was Smite 4. This sword, hopefully, a little bit better. Hopefully, sharpness and looting is what I'd really like. Bam! Knockback, arthropods, fire aspect, looting. That's a lot of enchants. The fire aspect and knockback, I'm not a huge fan of because mobs can set you on fire now if they're on fire. And the knockback just prolongs the the mob's death. And the arthropods, I'm not a huge fan of either. Like, what am I going to kill? Silver vision, spiders? That's it. Looting's good, though. All right, so we got our sword. Now let's break up our diamond blocks. Let's get this out of here. I guess we could probably put you in there too. Use this. Uh, let's get the nether rack where it belongs. And look at all this quartz. My goodness. Look at all this quartz. And I gotta go back for more. Let's break this up. Here we go. We're hoping for more than... Oh, that's only one. 
That's only one. That's only one. Okay. Well. Fortune. This is fortune, right? Yep. <laughs> fortune did not help in this case. Oh, man. That's, that's all the diamonds I have left. Let's break this up as well. Maybe we'll find a villager. You know, I haven't even found a village this season. Oh, we got a lot. We got eight out of those four blocks. That's pretty good. Uh, what else we got? Nothing right now. All right. Back into the nether I go. Going to search for some more quartz. And uh, and maybe enchant some other things. We got a buddy who wants to fight us. Whoa. Gotcha. Did you drop? Did you drop? Gas tier? It's right by lava, man. You, you're, you're a dangerous guy. Let's see. CXP. Gas tier? Regen potion? No. If he did, it might have just burned up in the lava. Dang it. Anyways, level 10 already. Still collecting quartz. And this goes really fast. This is better than mob farm. This is totally better than a mob farm because you get quartz while you're leveling. And I've got, look at how much, and quartz, is, it's not like quartz is rare either. You could just walk around. Oh man, I thought I saw a wither there. <laughs> it's just my mind playing tricks on me. You just walk around and collect quartz for days. We got another little friend after us. Come here, little guy. I miss him. Bam! Did you drop anything? There's XP. XP. Just XP. Dang it! What's a guy gotta do to make a gas cry around here? Well, hello there, Mr. Ghast. Gary, Gary the Ghast. I don't know if I have enough arrows to take this guy on. How you doing, buddy? And... Yeah, you died above lava. What can you do? Let's collect some more of this. Almost at level 30 again. Another and Time for another enchant. I think I'll enchant a pick. <laughs> Watch me get Fortune 3 now. And I just gave away my only, only Silk Touch pick for Fortune 3. Then again, I would not have gotten these levels without f a Fortune pick. Because I wouldn't have gone and collected Quartz without a Fortune pick. It's just it's a waste of Quartz. This guy's he's blocking our way home. Gotcha. Let's see if you dropped some gas tears or one, I guess. Can they drop more than one? I don't think so. I think oh yes he did. Sweet. Oh no 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 don't blow up my gas tier. Gotcha. Where are you coming from? Oh right there, huh? Perfect. Did you drop a gas tier? There's more XPs. I'm at level 30 again, by the way, guys, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Man, a oh. Did not see that. I wonder. If there, oh, I saw a little bit of smoke there. I thought it was a gas tier. Dang it. Um, yeah, so I want to go and chat a, uh, another pick. This time, I'm hoping for a silk touch, not fortune. Or an efficiency for unbreaking three pick. Because that would be a good working pick. Plus, oh, man, I think I need to go. Well, I won't do it now. But I need another 27 levels to add that unbreaking to this fortune pick. And then I got to rename the fortune, or yeah, the fortune pick so that in Anders' name, so that it doesn't cost as much to to repair it. At least that's how it used to work. I think it's still the case, as far as I'm aware. Eat the potato while transferring to another dimension, like a boss. I don't have that many diamonds left. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's gonna... I only have four diamonds left. I gotta find some diamond. After this, I want to tell you about awesome awesome idea that somebody sent me that I think is gonna be great and I hope I can find this person's name because it would suck if I couldn't but yeah after we enchant this I will I'll tell you all about it this is a pretty sweet idea and I wish I had thought of it myself I wish I could give myself credit for thinking of it but I didn't so uh, oh hey I was keeping gas tears here I guess we're not doing that anymore let's just put it in here here we go another level 30 enchant this time a pick Hoping for efficiency and unbreaking or silk touch. Efficiency and unbreaking. Sweet. All right. I feel like I'm back to where I started before I lost all my things. My armor is not in good shape, though. Anyway, let's uh, 
Let me see if I can find this person's message so I can give him credit, him or her. And uh, I'll check back with you guys. Oops, broke the wrong one. Uh, shortly. Alright guys, this is what I had in mind the whole time. I wanted to do something like this. Now here's the problem. This. Oh gosh, it's so disgusting. Come on. Come on. Really? I hate that. I hate it. That was the idea anyway. It was supposed to look really nice like this. Um, and then I was going to put some of these on top. I don't know. I might still do it, but let me just do... Ooh. Ooh. A lot of creepers over there. I don't have too many arrows left. Hey, you should just dot. Yep, that's it. I'm out. Okay, creeper. <sighs> don't blow up anything. If you blow up in the water, everything's fine. The knockback actually helps with the creepers quite a bit. Come on, creepers. And I am running out of time in this episode. Okay. Good. Creepers. Dead. Oh, I still have, that's right. I still have to get all the wool for the top of these things, too. Man, I got a lot to do. But anyway, here is the idea. It's going to be surrounded in this, and it's supposed to look kind of like that, but without those ugly black marks. Lighting issues with Minecraft. Gotta love them. Let me just finish this off here, and then I'll try... Hmm. I'll try something else. What is my problem? Oh my gosh! Seriously! Up! Ah. Right. Uh, here, 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 here. <laughs> you guys tired of listening listen to me say here yet? I can't. Oh, these ugly things. I'm going to try to put glowstone underneath the water to see if it gets rid of it because it's just gross. Uh, like this and like this. Actually, I wanted this one to end sort of like. Oh no, I don't think it's gonna work. I wanted it to sort of end with a little. Um, without this bottom part, like right here. Like that. You see that? You see how that one ends? That's how I wanted that to end on this side, but I don't think that's possible with these angles it should be though right if I do this and then I do this ah but that'll yeah huh if I break that man these stairs are complicated things yeah it's gonna keep messing up dang it well we'll just deal with it We'll just, I guess that's okay. Let's finish off the top part here. And uh, and then I will try some things. Oh, that's interesting. I was able to place the stair with me standing on that block. Right. So this one has to finish up here. No, nope, that's not going to work. I could, this one I think. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Whatevs, man. Just, just stay like that. All right. So the next thing I was gonna do was put these up above, like so, and put them on each level. So it, it's sort of like a, it's almost like a fence. Now let me try and do some of that, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. See, that's sort of the idea I had, where it's just like a sort of a ring floating around it. It goes with the theme. I think it looks pretty good. I do need to leave an entrance here, though, for me to get in, which is a little bit awkward. Also, these darn squares of blackness, man. Let me see if maybe we can, if we put it right there, does that get rid of the darkness? No, it does not. Where exactly did I put it, anyway? Um, let's break this one. Yeah, I put it right. Be oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. So if I have, if I put it below this one, let's try that. I gotta break. I don't have my silk touch pick. I gotta. Well, I, I can use fortune. I'll get them all back. Come on. 
right so if I put it on that one was it oh crap I don't know which one now I'm gonna guess that one right Ah, uh, maybe not no I think that's the wrong one no right here no no it still messes up Ugh. dang it man that is so frustrating there's nothing I can do to fix it is there guys any ideas and girls I accept ideas from girls too I'm an equal opportunity idea acceptor where's the hole right there get up get up you jerk ah, that's so frustrating I cannot believe it this kinda looks weird too actually I'm not sure if I like the way it ends here if we closed it if we did that that looks strange that looks strange too yeah well I guess I could just leave it like that that's not bad and then it would match the other side yeah it'll match the other side like this so we'll leave it like that but that looks pretty cool don't you think sort of a futuristic thingy going on which is the whole idea another idea I had was to replace uh, these here now this is gonna be this is gonna be tough because I don't want to ruin what I have going here but I can I can try on this side so replace the second ones with these stone brick stairs and it might look good it might give it a little more contrast I don't know I have to go over there to take a take a closer look <laughs> no I think I do like the quartz better it just gives it more it looks more modern or contemporary or futuristic whatever you want to call it. I'm tired of the futuristic word I don't like using it all the time so I'm gonna try to use different words <laughs> It looks very Jetsons. Uh, yeah, oh, that's that's better. All right, so the great idea sent to me was was this. Okay, this it was sent to me from Lurker of Time, and he told me, "Hey, Beef, since you can see the underground or the underwater, whatever you want to call it, from from the tree area, you should have ruins down there that sort of bleed from the desert." down to the bottom of the ocean floor here and it's sort of like this thing has replaced the desert ruins as a place of life <laughs> my gosh my sentences are really broken today uh but yeah that's the general idea so you can see pretty much the ocean floor for miles and miles around now i think it's a brilliant idea and i'm gonna do it however i don't know how big it's gonna be uh, because this is a lot of ocean floor here so I might just stick to one side like the coast area so you'd be able to see it from that side of the tree farm uh, and through the water I guess <laughs> but it'd be mostly on this side but anyway I think that's a great idea and what do you guys think about that I think it's fantastic if I haven't mentioned already let me actually go do one and see how it looks or do a couple of them just now where's the best place right right around here let's go check that out there is a house down there do you guys see it probably not now let's go take a look through our tree farm you probably still can't see it. it's right there actually uh maybe I could light it up let's go put some glowstone in it and see see what it looks like is that you can't you can't even see it it's not worth the effort if you can't see it Let's try it again. Ah, yeah, you can. Oh, that makes it look spooky, too, with the light. The only problem is, why would there be light underwater? I don't get it. I built it, and I don't get it. But imagine a bunch of these just, like, strewn across here, across the shore and stuff. That would look pretty fantastic. Great idea, lurker of time. I had to look down at my notes. One last thing I wanted to do before I go. Oops, I can't find my way through this forest maze. Uh, one last thing. What did I want to do? 
Oh yeah, I wanted to try blocks instead. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have any on me. I'll have to go get some blocks. Because this, this, um, these little black things here are really bugging me and I don't like it. Did I just break? Wow, with one shot. Yeah, so, I wanted to try using solid blocks to see what that looks like. So I will be back in a GIF. Alright, let's try it on this side because it's easier to repair and stuff on this side. Uh, so all we need to do is technically Oh, wait a minute now. That might look that might look real cool. Uh let's put another one of these over here. Over here. Do that. And then we'd have to fix the inside there, which is not a big deal, but Oh man, I kinda like that. Oops. Get back in there. I have to get down get down in the ocean floor and grab this stuff because it's it's valuable stuff. Now this would get rid of the the black marks here, wouldn't it? If I did like a Can I not Oh the the um, yeah, the half slab is over here. So if we do this then that it still has like that gray mark, man. I hate it. I hate it. But it does look good and it adds a little bit of texture to it. I think I'm going to replace everything with that. I could hide some glowstone in the corner here. It might give off some light too. Do I have glowstone on me? I don't. Let's go get some. Dang it, man. I want to end the episode, but I'm too, I guess, filled with ideas right now. <laughs> Nah, the glowstone still looks sort of glitchy. Uh, I might as well just go with another quartz block or a quartz half slab or something over there. But, I do like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change everything up. At the bottom, anyway. To have just this stuff. Now, wait a minute. How would it look here? Because this has no top to it. Still looks good. Still looks good. Yeah, the corners here, I have to figure out a fancy way of doing it. I guess the best way is like this, actually. It's too bad you can't really notice it here. Yeah, you can. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys have any ideas, I've, I've put out a lot of ideas today that I'm not sure of. If you guys have any ideas that you think will look great, I really like that idea with the the, the abandoned houses or the... I don't know, I guess destroyed houses under the ocean. So thank you so much for that idea. Lurker of Time. I keep forgetting his name or her name. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas, just like Lurker of Time did, feel free to send me a message. I will check them out. And if they're any good, I'll use them and give you no credit. <laughs> Obviously, that's not true. Um, so yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.